Ukraine will receive more long-range missiles. Russians have nowhere to hide. NATO countries are equipping Ukraine with additional long-range, precision-guided missiles. These missiles have already demonstrated their effectiveness in striking Russian airfields, naval headquarters, bridges and other important targets. As Business Insider says, these Western missiles significantly increase Ukraine's firepower. Former U.S. military officials said the missiles could help Kyiv hit locations that are critical to Russian operations. Russian forces have nowhere to hide. Ukraine faces a Russian offensive that could intensify by summer, but these weapons could help stop Moscow's efforts. If you're worried about Russian forces breaking your defenses, you need to have your headquarters and logistics under fire control, making Russian attacks impossible, said Ben Hodges, a retired lieutenant general and former commander of U.S. Army Europe. Last month, the U.S. admitted that it had secretly sent long-range ATACMS missiles to Ukraine. The number of missiles is not publicly known, but ATACMS missiles average about $1.3 million each. The Biden administration national security adviser Jake Sullivan said in late April that the U.S. would send more ATACMS to Ukraine. Around the same time, in late April, Britain announced it would send Ukraine additional Storm Shadow cruise missiles as part of the largest weapons package in the country's history. A few days later, British Defence Secretary Grant Shapps revealed for the first time that Italy had also supplied Storm Shadow cruise missiles to Kyiv at one time. France sent Kyiv its own version of the ammunition called Scalp EG. These airdrop missiles can fly at low altitude to avoid detection and have been used to strike Russian Navy headquarters and auto-repair depots in Crimea. The 240-kilometer range places them between ATACMS variants. Increasing the missile arsenal could make it impossible for Russia to station critical assets within 100 miles of its front lines, said Dan Rice, a former U.S. Army artillery officer who previously served as a special advisor to Ukraine's military leadership. This puts enormous pressure on all their key high-value targets. You have a front of 1,000 kilometers, then you have a 160 kilometer in depth. Where do you hide everything? Your transport hubs, your railway stations, your supply depots, command. The most important thing, your anti-aircraft systems, Rice said. Hodges and Rice say a larger arsenal of ATACMS and Storm Shadows could give Ukraine the capabilities to hit high-value Russian targets such as supply depots and maintenance facilities. Indeed, in recent weeks, Kyiv has used American missiles to attack Russian airfields and troop concentrations. Missiles like ATACMS and Storm Shadow will allow Ukraine to neutralize Russia's advantages and ultimately allow it to regain the initiative, Hodges added. Ukraine has also long sought the German Taurus missile, which has a range of more than 160 kilometers than ATACMS, but Berlin has so far refused to provide it. NATO countries may use their air defense systems to shoot down Russian missiles. NATO Secretary General in 2009 to 2014, Anders Fogh Rasmussen, said that the alliance countries could use air defense systems located in Eastern Europe to shoot down Russian missiles and drones aimed at Ukraine. He said this in an interview with the British publication iPaper. Rasmussen said interceptor missiles from neighboring NATO countries such as Poland and Romania could shoot down Russian airstrikes that target Ukraine. Earlier this year, some NATO members, namely the US, UK and France, are known to have deployed fighter jets to help Israel's air defenses intercept Iranian drones and missiles. Rasmussen noted that the military alliance could do the same thing to help Ukraine shoot down Russian air targets that are approaching. He suggested that NATO air and missile defense systems could be combined with Ukrainian ones. According to the former NATO Secretary General, such efforts would protect Ukraine much more effectively by protecting its defense industry and jump-starting recovery, in return avoiding NATO troops being sent into the country. Recall, as of March 2024, Ukraine's partners provided almost $118 billion in direct military assistance, including air defense systems, namely the American ATACMS air defense systems, which were used by Ukraine with devastating effect. Despite this, according to the Wall Street Journal, the rate of interception of air targets by Ukrainian air defense fell from 46% over the past six months to 30% last month. Earlier, political journalists reported that Ukraine is putting pressure on the Joe Biden administration so that the United States allows the use of American weapons to strike Russia.
The main problem now is that the White House policy limits our ability to strike military targets inside Russia, said the head of the Servant of the People, David Arakamia. In turn, the head of the Office of the President of Ukraine, Andriy Ermak, said that Ukraine offers a clear time frame for joining NATO. According to him, a date no later than July 2028 is being discussed.